Hey there, projectors. Thanks for joining me today for your weekly intuitive reading. If you're new to the channel, I do my readings based on your human design type, and I read with oracle cards, tarot cards, sometimes runes. So if you don't know your human design type, check the information below, and there will be a link where you can go and find which type you are, one of the five. And if you're a projector, then this reading is for you. All right, so I have broken today's reading out into three sections. One, your current situation. Two, what you're moving away from. And three, what you're moving towards. Let's get started. The first card that came up is Lizard Spirit. Dream the world into being. I love this card. And it reminds me of this line in the book that I'm currently reading. I'm, I'm reading the third book in this trilogy. Uh, the third book is called The Winter Witch. And the phrase is, magic is forgetting the world was ever other than as you willed it. Magic is forgetting the world was ever other than as you willed it. They have this, um, this world, this other realm that is the realm of midnight. And the only way that you can travel through midnight is by envisioning the place you want to go. You can't have a direction of like, oh, take a right at the oak tree, uh, take a left at the lake you really have to bring this place into being until you're actually there. So I think that's a, a really cool way to think about what you can be doing right now to create the world that you want to live in, to have the experience that you want to have. Like think about if you were writing a sci-fi or a fantasy book, what would your world look like? Like, if you have no, like, it can be anything that you want. That you're, you're free to create it as you like. So really think about that and bring that into, into being. The card that is paired with lizard here is fox. The knight of bows. This is wisdom meeting playfulness. It's improvising a way forward, and it asks a couple questions of you here. So what opportunity are you seizing at the moment, and what details or clues are you ignoring? This card talks about departing, moving, changing direction. So I think you have a lot of say in, in where you're going just based on what you're imagining, what you're dreaming up. So keep that in mind. Okay, the next message we're gonna talk about is what you're moving away from. So this card came out in reverse. We have Grasshopper, take a leap of faith. So this is asking you to stop faltering in your trust and your faith and what's going on. Try to keep it steady. Believe that you can experience something greater. And I think a lot of times we get caught up in this story of this is the way that things have played out in the past. So this is how it's going to play out in the future. And it's sort of this defense mechanism that we have so that we don't experience pain or hurt, discomfort, disease, those blocks and things like that. We're trying to protect ourselves. But I think if we can really see that we don't need those protective measures completely. I'm not saying, you know, do everything willy-nilly and... If you touch a hot stove, you're not going to get burned. But, you know, I think don't go into the story too much, you know, if you can, if you can help it, because I think it'll open you up 
to a lot more um, meaning and magic in your life. You'll be able to experience something deeper. So the card that this is paired with is Transition, the Six of Arrows. And I noticed here the full moon. It's almost like the full moon is illuminating this journey, this departure. So I'm curious if maybe something has come to you this week. Maybe like an idea of, of like, ah, that's, yeah, I don't want that anymore. I want that. And you're you're already setting sail, you're already moving in that direction, the more that you, you know, bring that dream, that imagination, bring it all to life. I mean, it's funny that both of these talk about movement and change, changing direction. All right, so the, the next part of the, the message is what you're moving towards. So I pulled Skunk here. I love this card. It's such a sweet little little card. And if, if you've ever lived in LA, you'd be amazed by how many skunks we have wandering around on the sidewalks. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like, they're very cute. But as soon as you see one, you like cross the street because you don't want to get sprayed. Any, anyways, that, that's not part of your message. But um, yeah, I think just you can be this stinky little creature, but you still have huge worth, you know. And Believe your worth is something that you were born with, not something that you have to earn. So we inherently have worth. We don't have to, you know, work our way up a worth ladder. We're already there. Let that really sink in. Let that be ingrained in you. And break down the limitations that your subconscious has set for yourself. I know I struggle with this a lot around, um, around a lot of things, whether it's like finding genuine partnership or friendships or financial situations, you know, especially for those of us who didn't grow up with everything being perfect, and most of us haven't. It's really hard to for that story not to creep in and to dictate how we continue experiencing life and thinking that a, a more comfortable life, a life in flow, a life with ease is for other people, it's not for you. That other people have access to things you don't. They have opportunities that you don't. And you can get caught up in that sort of thinking. But I think, unfortunately, a lot of that limitation really has to do with ourself and, and the programs that we have running that we need to break down. So I think if you can really recognize those things and rewrite the program, I, I think that you can really be a lot more expansive the card paired with the skunk is the hawk. The hawk is a symbol of vision and power and definitely perspective. When you're thinking of how high they are and they're looking down at their prey, they're, they, can, they can see the big picture, they can see what's going on, and they know how to go in for what they want. This is about making a decision, this clear-cut decision it's clear what you need to do and what you want to do. And so you can move towards it. This is about events changing quickly. It's sort of heroic. This like, you're feeling, you're feeling very empowered. You're feeling your, you're feeling yourself. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so with all these cards that are coming out that 
talk about movement, change, transition, taking a leap of faith, dreaming your world into being, knowing your worth, it could come out in a lot of different ways, but I am curious if some of you might be getting like a new job opportunity, um, maybe a job offer, maybe, maybe a raise, maybe that you've been looking for the path to follow. Maybe you've been a little bit like not sure where to go in your life, in your career, or whatever, and now you're you're finally getting that hit of like, mm, maybe this is what I want to move towards. I'd be curious to hear if any of this resonates and, and, and how it's coming up for you. So that's your message for this week. Please leave comments uh, if you'd like, and I hope you have a great week. I think you're going to have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Take care.